In this short video, I want to go over an incredible WordPress utility called Desktop Server. Desktop Server can be used to set up local development sites. So if you're doing a lot of WordPress devel development and want to get quick access to sites you're working on without affecting live sites, this is a great tool to very, very quickly set up WordPress sites. It's it's, it's easy to use. It's quick setup time. Um, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this product. To find this tool, you go to serverpress.com. On serverpress.com, they have a couple products they offer, but on the products option, we're going to jump to desktop server. They have two versions of desktop server. One is a freebie, which is what we're going to go through today. There's, a, there's another one that's a full version, and that simply um, gives you unlimited number of development sites that you can set up. So we're going to download the, the freebie one. If we go to their downloads page. It runs on Macintosh and Windows. And we'll save this to our local computer. All right, so as this finishes up, it's, it has saved it to our download area. So I'm going to pop open our window. And here is the download file, DSL, dash win, etc. If I double click on that to open that up, there's a folder called XAMP Lite. I'm going to copy that and put that right on my local drive. So to my C drive and paste it in there. So this is finishing up copying to my to my local drive, creating the XAMP Lite folder. Now I'm going to do a stepper to make this easily accessible. I'm going to go into that folder and if I scroll down I'm going to see a desktop server exe. I'm going to right click on that and again you can do this on Macintosh or Windows. I'm doing this on a Windows uh, PC. I'm going to pin the start menu just give me quick access to that. But so you can see this within my recording I'm just going to double click on that. I'm going to go ahead and install desktop server. Now you have to be admin to run this, so I'm going to say yes, restart. Give it permission. I already have um, Apache and MySQL already installed on here. I believe Desktop Server will do that installation for you if you already don't have it. But I'm going to say go ahead and start those services. Once it's done that, it asks you, you have two options on the next screen, to create a new development website, and we're going to create two of these. So I'm going to click Next. We can give our site any name. Again, this is the address that I will use in a browser window to find the site. So let's say I want to do one site to test themes. So I'm going to call it www.testthemes.dev. It automatically defaults to the .dev domain name. It's going to place it on our local drive, create. It's going to create the necessary items to, to be able to access that site through a local web server. Creates the source folder, virtual host, server name entries, creates the database, and pre-configuring WordPress files. So we're starting the web and database services so it sees all the new things it just set up. And it should come back here shortly and have that set up. And now we're, now we're done. We go to next. So it gives us the name. Not to see this, I'm going to move this a little bit and go to a browser. I'm going to type in that domain name that we set it up on. and it kicks off the, the WordPress install. So we're going to call it, I'm going to do a site for Headway theme, so I'm going to call it Headway. Give it some user some admin name, password, whoops. Your, your email address and install WordPress. And now you're into an a, a initial installation of WordPress just like that. Let's go back to that window. I'm going to minimize my browser. We're, the desktop server is still running. We're going to click Next on this screen. We're back at our initial screen where we have three options. Now since we already have a development site set up, 
this this second option which was grayed out is now available we can remove that let's create a new development website it's going to set up a second one and this next one we'll call I don't know let's, let's see we do a local uh, test site for one of our clients we'll call them client a create and it goes through the same steps that we saw before creating the source folder virtual host server name entries it's going to create the database and initial WordPress installations it's going to restart the web and database services and we should be done here shortly so just like that within what I don't know how long this is a minute maybe two minutes at the most we have two development sites running on our local on our local PC click next it gives us our URL that we can access the site we just set up and now we can do the same thing all over again or we can remove these so let's go open up my a browser window here for some reason it's it's going to the example which is their default so I'm going to change that to what I had called it which was client a dot dev and we could install WordPress on that at that URL so in that quickly we've set up two two development sites just a quick word on if you want to remove desktop server which I'm not sure why you would but if you ever need to before and it's it's a, it's a simple process but before you remove it the desktop server you want to remove your your development sites so remove both development sites you'll go through this process twice since we have two sites out there then I'll stop the website and database services so once I've done both of those then I can go back and just delete that that folder that we created on our on in this case on our C drive the XAMPP light and just remove that folder or delete that folder and that's how you quickly you can set up development sites on your local local PC or your local computer